What if I did one of those Minecraft intros? Like only 7% of you are subscribed. If you're watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Let's get into the video. Now controlling Streamlabs OBS with your phone is actually really easy. This is what it will look like on your phone or your tablet, no matter what you wanna use. And let me give you a quick demo. So right now you see right here, my Streamlabs OBS is being captured and I'm also using this to record. But on the left, you see that there's another scene called check cam. And this is a zoomed in version of what what my camera is actually filming for when I want to check my focus if I'm in focus or not I move to the back to the front till my eye is in focus and then I know it's good I can start recording but let's say I want to change to that scene right now without touching my computer well right here you will see check cam I don't know if you can see it on the camera you probably can if I click on this oop there we go that's me on the screen and now I'm in the other scene. So if I wanna go back, I just click on scene. Now you will definitely see it. I click on scene right here. If I'm right on it, there we go. I can swap the scene again. And you will also see that on the top right here, it says end recording. And that's because I'm recording right now. So if I click on that, I will actually stop recording. There are a bunch of other things you can do with this. I can also mute my microphone. I will keep talking. And as you see, you could not hear me. I'm just gonna show you how to install this, how to use it, how it all works. But first, there is a quick message from the sponsor of this video, which is own.tv. Now, this is their website and they are a graphics webshop for streamers. It's the biggest one out there and they deliver really high quality animated stream designs. Now, when you go to the top left, you can click on complete packages right here. And when you scroll down after clicking on a pack, you can see this previewer. And here you can preview any element that's inside of the pack. This is an alert, for example. If you want to preview the stinger transition, you just click on scene transition and there we go. This is the transition and also on the bottom animated talking banner. This will also show you how that will look. You can preview everything and this is a great way to decide if you want to buy a pack or not. If you want to upgrade your stream with a complete package, Onto.tv is the way. Their link is in my description and with my code TVN you get 50% of the price so i'm gonna use my ipad to record this video but you can use whatever you want you can use your phone your tablet ios android doesn't matter now first i want to clear something out i know touch portal exists and i know you have a lot more options with touch portal and that touch portal also works for obs studio and for any other program on your pc it's also free and it allows you to control your whole pc with your phone but that is pretty advanced. This Streamlabs deck application is extremely easy to install. It's really easy to use. So this is a way for people who just want to install something on their phone, link it with Streamlabs, start using it, control everything, switch scenes, stuff like that. If you're looking for more advanced ways to control Streamlabs OBS or control other programs or OBS Studio, I will be making a touch portal tutorial and I will link it in the cards when it is actually finished. It will be in a few weeks. Now, before we can start, linking Streamlabs OBS to our phone or tablet, you want to go to the settings and you want to make sure that you're logged in with an account right here. If you aren't logged in, you cannot link them and it will not work. And just like you want to log in with the same accounts, you also want to make sure that you're on the same internet network or it will also not work. So those are the two requirements. Make sure you're logged in and make sure you're on the same network. Now I'm going to use this iPad right here to record the video, not because it's better on iOS or it only works on iOS, but just because the screen is wider and it looks better for videos and i'm gonna go to the app store you can go to the play store if you're on android and you want to search for streamlabs tech there we go and here streamlabs deck this is the application you want you just click on get you download the application and then we can continue okay i have it on my screen right now let's click on it and then it will probably ask us to allow some things and then you can log in with your account i'm gonna log in with my twitch account so now the application wants access to my camera and when we click on okay you will see why it's because we need to scan a qr code if you're not getting this qr scanner right here you want to click on remote on the bottom in the middle and then you will get to this page now in streamlabs obs you want to go to the settings and then you want to go to remote control and there you will see a blurred qr code when you click on it it will de-blur and then you can scan it with your phone or tablet i'm not going to show it in a video because otherwise you can control my stream but i'm going to click on it right now and i'm going to scan the code 
with my tablet. Okay, right now I need to allow another thing. This is how it goes with permissions and applications. And as soon as I finish scanning it, as you see, I get all the controls right here. And this is extremely useful. As you see, we see end recording right there. I'm not gonna click it or my screen recording is gonna stop. But right here you see scene and then check cam. If I click on check cam, as you see, there is me on the screen. I'm gonna go back to scene so you can see my screen again. And before showing you a few things you can change right here, I first wanna show you something else because on the bottom we have a few more options, right? Now, as you see right here, we can click on events and this will show you all your recent events. So things like someone who just followed, someone who donated to you, that will all be right here on the screen. And as well as your chat right here next to the remote, I can click on Twitch right now. I'm logged in with that. And that will show me my Twitch chat. So as you see in Streamlabs, be as if I type something in my chat right here. I'm gonna type a quick message, I'm gonna send it, and as you see, it comes right here on my tablet. So, this is extremely useful. You can put your tablet or your phone in front of you with your chat, and then once you want to control your stream without leaving your game, you quickly go to remote and then you go to scene transition, for example, and then you go back to your chat, and there we go. Now you are in another scene with your chat on your screen again. Or, for example, right here, you see your chat mic. This is my microphone. When I click it got muted, but maybe you want to get this a little bit more clean because when we scroll to the bottom, as you see, you can also see your separate sources that are active in Streamlabs OBS and maybe you don't need that. Maybe you just want to control your stream scenes, for example, and your audio and that's all. Or you want to be able to stop and start recording and you don't want any more options. When you go to configure right here, then you will see all the options that were on the screen and you can just click on remove all the red button. And then as you see, if I just click on the configure on the bottom, and that's the only thing I'm gonna add. Then I'm gonna click on save and then I'm gonna go back. And right now, the only thing I have is my configure. And then of course there are promotions for Streamlabs Prime and Streamlabs themes. But when I go back to configure, I can, for example, only add my scenes and then click on save again and then go back. And then the only thing I will see is my two scenes and I can just swap between them and I don't have any other options. But when I go back to configure, you will see that you can also add scene collections and that's actually pretty useful. When I click on save right now, let's go back. As you see right now, these are my scene collections on the bottom. Now there are a few of them is because I was testing some things, but maybe you have different scene collections and what these are is in Streamlabs OBS, when you click on this right here above your scenes, then you will see your scene collections right here. And these are completely different collections. So a completely new set of scenes and sources. You probably know that, but if you don't know that, you can click on manage all right here and then you will see all your scenes. So right here, you can add a completely different setup and then you can swap between those right here on your tablet. Let's go to the settings on the bottom left and then right there you can see that you can swap between light mode and dark mode. This might be useful to know. And that's about everything you need to know about this application. I'm not gonna make this any longer than it needs to be, but I will say this, if you're starting to use this and you like it, but you would like to have more control, then you can use Touch Portal, which I'm gonna dive into and then research and then make a complete video about it, showing you how to set up everything and get all the control you need for your stream. And I will link it in the course when it's finished. It will be in a few weeks. If you have any more questions about anything about streaming, you can join me on my Twitch stream. I will link it in the description. I stream once or twice every week. I would love it if you would come by. If this video helped you at all, then please leave a random comment and give a like to this video because that helps me a lot to rank in the YouTube algorithm. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. You will get notifications when I upload a new video. And other than that, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. The video nerd made the best audio banana video ever, but I still couldn't manage to get it all working. <laughs> well, was it the best one ever then? But thanks, man.